Good morning, sunshines. So, we are vlogging today. It's gonna be a fun day. I actually have a lot planned today. I'm heading back to Woodbury, which is where, I think this height might be perfect. Tripod height? No? Oh, hey, look at that. Oh my gosh, my mantle is the perfect tripod height. Okay, so I'm heading back to Woodbury, Minnesota, which is where I originally lived, and I'm gonna get a spray tan of my favorite place. I'm gonna go to Jamba Juice. I'm probably gonna work from Starbucks. I also have an appointment there at 11, which will be first, but I'm gonna make some oatmeal really quick. I already went to the gym this morning. I got my cardio in. I'm on it today. It is Monday, people. I am not even playing around. I have a lot to do. 19 days until my wedding. Oh my gosh, 19 days. So, um, lots of fun stuff happening today, so I will take you guys with me, of course. Make sure, if you haven't done it, 3S Fitness, we launched our free app. You guys, it is a free app, and you can download it from the App Store or the Google Play Store. There's an Apple and an Android one. If you download it, we're giving any woman who downloads it a free month with 3S Fitness. I will have the link below. It's 3SFit.com forward slash app, and it will give you all the details, and it'll have the links for you guys to download it for your device so you can get your free month, because why wouldn't you? We're getting into the holiday season. November programs are coming up. This is the last full week of the month, which means next week is new program week. If you download the app this week, if you get your free month, you'll get your November program, be set to go for next month. Great way to start off the month and the holiday season. And you're going to get it all for free, which is kind of awesome. We want you guys to try out the app because I know you're really going to love it. It's where I put all of your training programs. You, you get videos of all the exercises, all your nutrition information is in there, your macros, your macro map, other documents for you guys are in there. You'll also be able to connect your Fitbit if you have one and my fitness pal so that I can see what you're eating and all that fun stuff you guys you'll get to join the community you'll get weekly check-ins with me so much stuff with 3s fitness that you get I can't even go through it all but I know that you're really gonna love it so if you thought about trying us out before now is the time to do it so you can test out the app you're really gonna love it it makes it so easy to take your workout take me take your community with you everywhere that you go which is bomb sets you up for success in more ways than one not just physical but emotional as well with our e-courses and our personal development courses which are super 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 good and amazing and we have something really awesome coming. Now is the time to sign up, you guys. Also, next Tuesday is our two-year birthday. Yay! We turn two next week. All right, we are making my protein oats like normal. This is my first form level one protein. You can use whatever protein that you want. I do about a half scoop of this because you'll see how big this scoop is. Look how huge this scoop is. It's like giant. So I do about a half scoop right in there. And I'm doing these to go because... I'm gonna be late, well not late for my appointment, but I wanna get there early so I can drive through Starbucks and get a tea. So I'm going to grab my spoon and then I kinda just like fold it in. And then after I stir it all in, which I added another drop of water because I'm making them in a big mug. That's a trick if you wanna eat them to go instead of a bowl because it has a handle so it's a little bit easier. Um, I added a little bit of water because I estimated it a little bit wrong, which usually doesn't happen to me because I'm so used to making this. But I just break a couple of banana chips and I put those on top. I really am like obsessed with the crunch that this gives my oats. I really, really, really love it. So I put like, I don't know, I don't know how many are in there, like maybe like 10 banana chips total broken up, just like that. And I'm gonna take these to go and then I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. I seriously cannot possibly be more excited for this right now. So I know I didn't really record any Jamba Juice or any of my activities for you, but I got my spray tan if you can't tell. And usually what I like to do is at about the four hour mark, which is halfway between when I got it and when I can rinse it off, I go through with a makeup remover towel on my face because I like my face to be at least like a full shade lighter than the rest of my body because I can always like bronze up, but I don't want it to get too dark. And I got a dark tan today, you guys. So, um, I have a Starbucks tea here with me. I also just made my lunch. I just got home. I was kind of running around like crazy, and I couldn't get, like, good ways to film for you guys. Um, it just wasn't happening for me, but I got all my errands done, and I will show you what I got from Bath & Body Works here in a little bit. And Toby wants to say hi. Oh, do you want to say hi? Yeah. No barking, though. What do we do? We don't bark. Give me a kiss. Thank you. That face, though. Do you hate the camera? 
Yes, you do hate that camera. Hey, he wants to play. He's like so anxious. He's like, Mom, I just got home. Play with me, but I'm so hungry I have to eat. And I'm gonna watch How to Get Away with Murder, which I'm very excited about. This has been my preferred lunch for like the longest time now. I don't know why, but I crave this on a daily basis, which makes me really happy because it's super healthy. This is baby kale, um, a bed of baby kale with a little bit of light ranch with shredded rotisserie chicken. I literally just buy a rotisserie chicken from the store and um, shred it and put it on top of here. And then I have about a cup of coffee flour with dill dip on the side. My Kowalski's makes the greatest dill dip in the history of dill dip. It is seriously so, so, so good. I love it. Um, so I'm going to eat this for lunch and I have a venti mint majesty tea, but I'm actually going to have water with lunch and then I'll have that afterwards. I was like my little snack. Look at that face. He wants to play so badly. Get your toy. Go get your toy. Go get it. Get your, hey, get your toy. Where's your toy? Go get a toy. Come on, bring me your toy. Yeah, do need to play. Do need to play. Give me your toy. Yeah, watch this, you guys. He's, it's so funny. Tim loves it, but I think it's so mean. He slides across the floor when you throw it because it's all hardwood. Ready? All right. Ready? Oh, can, can I have it? All right. I'm going to go eat. Hey guys, so I'm kind of ending this vlog on a little bit of a chit chat here with you. Um, I spoke in a recent vlog, one of my last two, that I was going to do a video on anxiety and dealing with anxiety and tools for anxiety and things like that. Um, and I, I don't want to do like a whole separate video on that, but I just wanted to kind of put a couple things out there to let you guys know kind of what's going on in my life um, and uh, kind of let you see that for what it is and then feel free to ask me questions and things like that and then if you want to see a more detailed in-depth um, review not review but pff, review yeah review on my anxiety um, but if you want to see a more detailed talk on it I can do that for you guys but um, basically I struggle with generalized anxiety disorder um, to break it down into smaller parts. Um, I struggle with um, fear related anxiety. So I know fear like stress, that's a lot of people struggle with fear. Um, mine is very specific. I have um, a lot of irrational fears around death and dying. I'm not even just talking about me, I'm talking about family members, friends, my dog, things like that, um, that I struggle with, but I also struggle with anxiety symptoms, and this is something that has been new in my life for this past year, um, and I don't know exactly what's brought it on, that's kind of what I'm trying to find out, um, right now, but not even find out, it's not like I'm looking for a specific answer, I'm just trying to kind of work through it, and, um, things like that, so, I um, started experiencing anxiety symptoms years ago. Probably they first got bad right when we moved to Minnesota. Um, Tim and I were going through a really challenging time with his family, um, um, which is why we moved here. And I don't want to get too much into that, but my anxiety started getting really bad. I, I probably had maybe my first major panic attack. Um, and I would get really anxious and worked up and I couldn't figure out kind of what was going on. It was the first time that I really felt, since I was a kid, because I had anxiety as a child, but it was the first time that I really felt um, like not out of control, might not be the right word, but like overwhelmed by anxiety. And then, um, and then it, it kind of calmed down for a little bit. And this last year, um, my first year with 3S Fitness, so from 2014 to 2000 from November 2014 to November 2015 uh, was my one of my better years for my anxiety and I was feeling really really good and then um, in I would say March of this year March 2015 um, I had a couple business and personal things um, happen that caused a lot of stress and anxiety for me and really just kind of internal turmoil for me um, just some things that I was really struggling with dealing with um, just some heartbreak and some other things um, for me it was just really sad and it was um, confusing and disappointing and again like I can't talk about that specific situation but I can just tell you my feelings around that time and then um, I think right around the end of March, beginning of April is when I started experiencing my first really recurring anxiety symptom, which was heart palpitations. And these were so bad. I was having 
between 15 and 20 palpitations a day where you feel like you know your heart's in your throat and it would just stay there my heart would race I couldn't calm down like I couldn't get relaxed I tried yoga I tried um, breathing techniques I tried a lot of different things and nothing would work for me and so finally I said I don't know what's going on this can't be my anxiety something's wrong with me so I went to the doctor and I got some heart tests done I got an EKG I wore a heart monitor for a few days um, we did a bunch of labs and blood work and I was ruled completely fine. My heart was totally healthy. And um, then at uh, then my palpitations went away. I got a clean bill of health, and my palpitations completely disappeared. I'm not kidding you guys. Not even kidding you. Um, they just stopped. And I started seeing a therapist regularly, and that definitely helped. And I started utilizing my tools, so my breathing techniques, and my yoga, and exercising, and all that good stuff. So um, I have had probably the most stressful year of my life or the most stressful last seven months of my life for a lot of different reasons. Again, a lot of which I can't really talk about, um, but this has been a really challenging year for me. And I started experiencing my second major anxiety symptom about a month ago, and it's called anxiety dizziness. And if anybody's ever had this, I'm going to link the video below for you. It is by Jim Folk, and he literally describes my life perfectly in this, and my struggle in this video, that it's so comforting to me. And um, it's been really hard because an anxiety symptoms um, make me feel really powerless even though you can take control of what's going on and what's happening by utilizing tools it's really hard to get through an anxiety symptom and a lot of people experience panic attacks or chest tightness or racing heart or heart palpitations anxiety dizziness is one that I had never heard of before but is very common um, and you can feel like it's vertigo or you know all these different other things but it's not it's from your anxiety and i know that it's from my anxiety because i can make it go away um and i do that in a variety of ways meditation has been one of my biggest tools right now i'm meditating you know one to two times a day usually two times a day um i do a daily and an evening devotional um i'm a christian and i feel very centered in church and when i'm praying and um so I love to do that and then I also exercise every single day and instead of just lifting weights I've brought in 30 minutes of cardio into my workout every single day so whether it's on the elliptical the stairmaster hit cardio I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio to burn the energy that my mind uses to worry so that's a little bit of my background and my story it's something that is still a struggle for me um, we're 18 days away from my wedding and I'm really really excited for that and I really want to feel good for it but um, one of the hardest parts about anxiety and about even even other like mental um, struggles that we have like depression and and eating disorders and things like that instead of um, feeling really down and sad about it you have to fight back and you have to accept that it's a part of who you are and once you can do that and then kind of let it go is when you really learn to beat your anxiety and I have moments where I'm so good at it and I have moments where I'm not so good at it and every day is a little bit different for me but I am so much different now than I was a month ago when this symptom came up. Um, I'm getting better at managing it. Anxiety symptoms are challenging because a symptom like that increases your anxiety and you're already having that symptom because of your anxiety. And so it's kind of like a, a just a recurring pattern, a theme, and you have to really fight it. So this video is just to tell you about my story so that maybe somebody, if you can relate to it, maybe it brings you comfort knowing somebody else has that struggle that you're not alone and I wouldn't I don't wish this on anybody but I also want you to know that you're not alone and that helps me knowing that other people have gone through this and overcome it helps me knowing that I can do the same and so hopefully this finds somebody who needs this message if you know somebody who might need this message please share this video with them um, but yeah I just thought I would tell you a little bit about my story and then I can go into my tools and how I use them and why I use them and why they're good for me and I can do videos like a video series on anxiety if you want me to um, just let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see this is all up to you and what you want to see um, I know this is a fitness channel but this is really important in my fitness right now I am working very very hard on my mental fitness and with that comes physical fitness it's an energy burn for me it's a stress reliever for me that's how fitness always has been but um, what I'm focusing a lot on is self-care and making sure that I'm in a good place and that I'm I'm feeling good and 
um, doing what I need to do to get there. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.